You may have seen various tutorials on how to model a microphone like this. Some ways are fast, but not so realistic. In this video, you are going to discover a method that I have not found anywhere else on the internet. It's fast and also realistic, as you see from the thumbnail. So sit back and enjoy the next 10 minutes or so, where you will learn what I believe is the best method to model a microphone like this. Let me show you. All right, so this is what you would have seen in the thumbnail. This, this is the microphone here. Are we going to be focusing mainly on modeling this part of the microphone here, the, the grill? Let me just come out of this view. Let's turn off the studio and turn this mic off. Go back to solid view. All right. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to enable some add-ons. Press F4, go into preferences, and just type in, I type it in already, type in mesh and enable this add mesh extra objects. Also to type in curve and enable add curve extra objects. One other helpful add-on as well, all free, is this one. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned it, edit mesh tools, all right? This one, make sure that is enabled as well. And of course, the add-on that I linked in the description, it's, it's the Celtic knot add-on. So you'll find it in curve uh, nuts, and Celtic links. Of course, it's grayed out now because we, there, there's no geometry in the scene, right? So, so let's press Shift A, and the first thing we're going to do, because we enable the extra objects under mesh, we will find math function, and we're going to click on X Y Z math surface. All right, what we will see something looking like a shell. All right, so don't press anything as yet. Go down to the operator panel, tool it up, and click on the one almost to the bottom, stereosphere. Click on that. That's what we want. So this is using a mathematical function to create this object. All right, this is like, so it's like if we're looking at the top of the microphone right now. So I just counted from the reference. I counted, I couldn't count it so accurately, but what I got was it could be approximately 62 on one side and 62 on the other side. So type in 62 in the U and 62 in the V step. All right, so these are the, the rings. This is all for this add-on for now. So we could tool this down. And let me show you what's happening. Press 3 for side view. And this XYZ math function basically created this. So what we want to do now is with the 3D cursor enabled, we want to rotate around the cursor. So in from side view, just press R, 90, 90 degrees. Now press 1 for front view. And so now what we observe here, this is a perfectly spherical object. And this is what the top of our microphone will be. To get that grid, that mesh, what we do now, we use the add-on that I told you about in the description. So press Shift A, Curve. And now when we go to Nuts, we will see Celtic Links is no longer grayed out. Click on that. It will take a little while to calculate. And I may cut this part out of the video. Right. So this is what we see. Again, don't touch anything. Go to the operator panel. And then there we will see just a few options. So the first thing we're going to do is change the bevel depth, the thickness. So click on this and change it to 0 0.015. Enter. Again, just wait a while for it to calculate. Nice. And if we, if we scroll up, so I'm not clicking, I'm just scrolling. We will see that they're intersecting. So to change that, we want to change the weave up and weave down. So click on weave up and type in 0 0.04, enter. Very good. And then in weave down, we type in negative 0 0.04, enter. Sweet, really nice. All right, so here it still doesn't look quite like what we want to achieve as yet, but we get in there. This though, if we tap into it, we'll notice that this is a, sorry, let me, let me turn off this XYZ function. That is what is inside, right? Turn that off and click on what was generated. You will notice from this icon, these are curves. All right, so, so change the resolution preview to something like two. Enter. Let's now, let's trim this somewhere halfway. So tab into edit mode and we're going to box select. So don't box select from quite the middle, a little below the middle. All right. So a little pretty close, a little below the, the X axis line and select that and press X delete segments. All right. If we look at it carefully, we will notice the ends of them. They're not perfectly circular. That is because if we go to the object data properties, it's extruded just a bit. So if I continue to extrude, you see what's happening there. So just set the extrusion to zero. So now it's perfectly circular. And turn the bevel resolution to something like, let's go with two. 
Remember, we already changed the bevel depth in the operator panel of the add-on. Great. So this is what we want. So, so far, so good. Now we can right click and convert this to mesh. Press Control, Control 2 to add a subsurf modifier. Right click, shade smooth. And now this looks a little bit more like a microphone. Matter of fact, let me enable this reference image I have here. And you see it's, 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 it's perfectly matching that, that top part. So let me show you to get the bottom part. Now press Shift D, press R180, enter. Let's turn off the subsurf for now so it won't slow down. And we can select the top one as well. So, so press this button one, shift select the top one, control J to join it to make it one object. All right, so we press G and it's one object now. So let me show you something with the reference image now. The top part is perfectly spherical, but not the bottom part. So let me show you how to, how to do that. So I want to be able to select just some vertices on the bottom here. So remember one for front view, seven for top view, but control seven is for bottom view. All right, so let me do that again. So one, the front view, but this to get underneath there, press Control 7. All right, so tab into edit mode. And what I want, let's select this one, shift select this one, this one, and this one. These four vertices there. I really want the 3D cursor to be around there. So shift S, cursor to select it. See, so the cursor is now down there. The reason I did that is so that it will scale. When I press Control plus to increase the selection, it will scale from the from the also from the 3D cursor as long as I have that enabled. All right, that's what I wanted to scale from. Turn this on. Uh, you could also press no, um, zero, not zero, the letter O on the keyboard, uh, but change just the sharp. All right, so you press an S and you'll see the circle of influence. So we could scroll this accordingly. So press S and it will scale. All right, but we don't want it to scale on the Z. So press S, Shift Z and scale. Now we need some reference. So let me re enable the reference image. And I'm going to press S, Shift Z and just uh, scroll on the mouse wheel to change the circle of influence. All right, so scroll it up a little bit about let's see maybe about maybe about about there somewhere around there is there good around there and now press alt z and select these here x delete vertices great now you see now this if we turn back on our subsurf oh we have it on already so it a little more matches the reference image there where the let me turn off the ref where the top is circular, but the bottom now it looks more like a microphone, like what we are accustomed to. All right. To get that middle piece, pretty simple. This middle piece we're talking about, pretty simple. So just press Shift A, add a mesh plane, and go in the operator panel, flip it on the, rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Matter of fact, let me press Shift C to return the cursor back to the world, center of the world. And I want the plane to go back down to the center there. So I press Shift S, selection to cursor so the origin of the object will end up there tab into edit mode uh, scale scale press s for scale and what let's turn off proportional editing while in edit mode press g x and just move it out here all right alt z for wireframe let's scale it down change it to bounded mark center and scale it down just a bit press 2 for edge select click on that edge x delete edges select these two press one for vertex select select those two and press e s and then press e x all right and press f to create a face so what we're going to do now with this object we created is spin it all the way around to create that ring so this object here to see what axis we want to spin it around Let's just click on this icon here, which will enable our gizmos. We'll have to change this from global to local. And we'll notice that this object, its Y axis is pointing up. Uh, we need that information because when we go to add the screw modifier, we want it to rotate around its Y axis. So just change this axis to Y. So we don't have to guess. We know exactly uh, why we're doing what we're doing. All right. And enable turn on merge so far so good press ctrl 2 to add a subsurf oh before we do that so now what i want to do is bevel those vertices so press 1 for front view 
press A to select all and the add-on that you would have enabled edit mesh if you go to the edit panel on the right at the bottom you see mesh tools so click on bevel vertices and just hover the mouse and, and just drag to the right let's turn off sub uh the screw modifier for now just click on bevel and drag it to the, and you see it's beveling all right so let's hold shift for final control all right good now we could tool up the operator panel and we could change the shape instead of one we could change it to like point maybe point seven five so that's a nice nice little bevel to it so now when we add the screw and then add the subserve modifier okay let me tell you what's happening here let's turn off the, the grid for now all right most likely our normals are flipped that's where you get this bad shading so in the screw modifier under normals we just check calculate order and that should fix it just to confirm we go here and click face orientation as long as it's blue everything is all right so turn this off all right and that is how we create the ring let me re-enable the grill everything seems to be fine except it's intersecting here so to fix that it's easy again press one for front view alt a let's select these and alt z and press gx and we could adjust it to suit until it's not intersecting so that's why we use this modifier it's pretty easy to to adjust and so on all right of course we don't want to see straight through the mesh so let me turn off the ref what i did was just press shift a and added a mesh around the cube i went to the operator panel and changed it to quad sphere and right click shade smooth and let's tab into edit mode make sure it does not intersect scale let's see scale it down great easy peasy all right, and that is how we create that microphone, that mesh. All right, really nice, really simple, really efficient with free add-ons. The other part, pretty easy to model. This this other part, uh, really, really pretty easy to model. I really wanted to show you how to model this, this more difficult part. All right, so I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please give it a like, and I'll see you in the next video.